So yesterday I had this footwear to fix. So and um, I never wanted to it to be plain. So then I saw my internet and saw this um, hems with leather flowers. So I decided to recreate it. So join me today. Let's see how I was able to recreate it. First I took my last and measure the width so that i can be able to know the length of um, the flower how it's going to be positioned so my line measures 13 centimeter that is where the flower will start and end then it has extra which i added about um, say um three more centimeter so what I did was the line on the that holds the flower. I measured 0.5 centimeter. Then using my hands pattern, I try getting the spaces between the flowers from the tip. So from what I got, I used 3.5 centimeter from the the um, hems getting the spaces between the flowers from the tip to the one in the middle and to the last one so i try freehanding the the flowers okay um it may not really be the same shape as the one on the picture as you were looking at it but i try just because the the slippers came plain so going back i never wanted it to just be plain so i needed to have some something fanciful on it and i don't want to use already made fancy so that is why i decided to do this so that it comes out nice for my customer so the flowers was kind of i think about three two and a half to three centimeters long that's the flower itself then the spaces between the flowers i made it 3.5 centimeters so that it doesn't space much it's just a bit clustered and big so this is how I was able to do it and this is how I normally copied my pattern creating it it's not as if I got it from anywhere I just sit on my on the internet and tried to to recreate it okay so just see if you can maybe um, design your own hands that's way instead of making a boring one i think this is a good idea okay so now i'll just keep doing this cleaning and redrawing till i get what it's almost exactly as what i'm seeing on the screen so i've already drawn like two times before now to ascertain that i can get the shape first or how it looks like before sharing it with you so um just try it out it's something that um, you can do even if it's the shape is not as the the one you are looking at on the screen but something close when you fix it on the um on your slippers or your sandal you'll be happy that you got something fanciful on your footwear the outcome was lovely yes it may not be as the leave on the on the hands itself but it looks very nice when the customer came picked it and wore it it was really really lovely so now i am done drawing the the leaf i'll just go ahead and cut it then after cutting it 
so after cutting it out what i did was placing it on my hands pattern again and try to position it looking at what i am seeing on the screen on my phone so that i ascertain if i got the spacing very well so i think i'm okay with the spacing i'm okay with the positioning so um like i said earlier the 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 distance or the spacing between the tip leaf and the middle one is 3.5 centimeter and the one from the middle to the last one is 3.5 centimeter so now the i added extra to the end of it making it about five centimeters so i also check the width from here to where the the last three leaves are so it gives me about seven centimeter okay so this is what we got i'll be transferring it to my later now later so that i keep it safe my kids are likely going to tear it apart so i transfer it here cut it out and save it okay so so i hope you can be able to try this someday and make your hands another plain footwear fanciful thanks for joining me if you enjoyed this tutorial like share and comment see you